a new country, a new school, new food. In all this newness, I can't help but to reminisce. I was diagnosed with a tumor on my left upper jaw in April 2018 and was scheduled to have surgery on July 23rd. Because of the extent of the surgery, the doctor noted that for at least three months post-surgery, I wouldn't be able to eat solid food. This was definitely hard to hear. It was the day before surgery, and as I sat in a chair by my bedside, pondering how life would change after surgery, my mom entered the hospital floor and immediately changed my mood from one of pensive contemplation to one filled with smiles. Not only was her present a gift, but she was there to surprise me with a dinner that consisted of some of my favorite Jamaican dishes. Just how I love them. Cooked by her. Made with love. The only other phrase I could utter aside from a hearty thank you was, you shouldn't have. I opened the containers one after another, checking to see what was inside. Mm -hmm. My visual and olfactory sensors would be tickled by the presence and the aroma of rice and peas stewed oxtail and beans, vegetable salad, and potato salad. It was so much food, but I had eight hours to enjoy it. So I ate them in increments, savoring each bite as it would be my last for a while. I first whetted my appetite with some of the vegetable salad and thoroughly enjoyed it. The crunch of the cabbage, lettuce and carrots, the juicy cucumbers and tomatoes that were lightly drizzled by my mommy's homemade vinaigrette. I was then on to the rice and peas which I had with some of the oxtail gravy. Lord have mercy, my eyes almost watered. It might have been my last meal for a while, but it was surely a meal of lasting memory.